Okay, welcome back. We're going to look at some features of GeoGebra that we haven't uh, discussed up to this point in the context of plotting a graph of two variables. And specifically, a couple new things we're going to um, look at is the use of the Graphics 2 window. We can actually have two graphics views open at the same time. We're also going to look at tracing uh, plotted points. All this is going to be in the context of plotting a graph of the area versus the side length of an equilateral triangle. So we're going to begin by opening up a new GeoGebra window and we want the algebra view to be visible. So you're going to go under view and make sure algebra is checked. We're also going to check the graphics 2 window. Now initially this uh, graphics 2 will be in a, a window by itself, a pop-up window. But by clicking on this little uh, box right here, this toggles between a pop-up window and uh, uh, the main GeoGebra window. Check this out. When I click on this, the graphics 2 window appears here. And you can slide on the divider to change the uh, amount of space uh, provided to each window. And you'll notice that this is graphics 2 in bold. Graphics here is uh, not bold. Whenever you click uh, on and give focus to a particular window in GeoGebra, the active view is bolded. See I clicked in Algebra, now Algebra is bolded. This will help you keep track of which window is the uh, active window. Um, so let's go ahead and set the labeling options. If you go under options, pick labeling. We only want new points. We only want new points to be labeled. And that's true for in both windows, so we're good. And in the Graphics 2 view, I want you to click on that, and we're going to hide the coordinate axes. You can do that by clicking here in this little style to show the styling bar. And we're going to hide the axes by clicking on this button. I kind of like to show the styling bar in each window. I just think that's nice to do. Um, and we're going to make sure that the grid is turned off in the Graphics 2 window. Uh, I'll turn the grid on in the Graphics 1 window. And, um, okay, what we're going to do in Graphics 2 is construct two points. These will represent two points on our uh, equilateral triangle. And then we're going to uh, activate the regular polygon tool. So you go here under um, the polygon uh, button, pick regular polygon. And we're actually going to click on points A and B. And a dialog box will show up asking us how many points we want in this regular shape and all. Basically by clicking on A and B, we've specified the length of one side of our regular polygon. So we want three points. Once we click OK, a regular polygon should appear in the Graphics 2 window. And it does. Um, OK. So now what we're going to do is, uh, in the Algebra view, take a minute and look at Algebra view. And the sides of the equilateral triangle are displayed as A, B, and C. The area of the triangle is denoted by poly 1. So to verify this, you can drag points A or B around. Notice that when you do this, A, B, and C change. Um, I'd like to turn the snap to grid off. 
to give sort of a smoother drag. Notice how that's A, B, and C are always the same length, and poly 1 is the area of the shape. Okay, so if we go ahead and click on the graphics 1 window, we know that it's the active window when uh, graphics is bold here. And in the input line, we're going to define a new point called P. Remember, we, we capitalize names of points. And P is going to actually be the ordered pair um, C, comma, poly 1. What this will do is actually plot the area of our triangle with respect to its side length since C is the length of one of the sides of the triangle. And once we hit enter, we, if we're lucky, we might see uh, P graphed in the window. Actually, it'll be a little bit off the screen since uh, the largest Y value here is 6 and the area of the triangle is 7. Let's go ahead and enter that anyway. And what I want to do is hit shift and I'm going to move this graph around a bit. Since we won't have negative uh, side lengths or areas, it makes sense to, to drag this around a little bit. And um, what I'd like to do is actually, first of all, note that when I move A, you notice that point P moves around too. If I actually collapse this triangle onto itself, so it's a single point, you notice that the triangle now has uh, a side length of zero and no area. And as I make the triangle larger, both the area and the side length are, are getting larger. What I'd like to do is actually trace this point so that I could see all the different values of the ordered pair as uh, the triangle is dragged and the, the size changes. So you're going to right click on point P. Now, on my Mac, I do that by control clicking. And you'll notice there's an option here that says trace on. Currently the trace is off since it's not checked. So we pick trace to be on. Then now when I drag point A or B, either one, notice what happens to the graph. We actually get a tracing of that point P. It's kind of interesting. You could ask your students at this point what kind of curve they believe this to be. And then um, we're going to click in the graphics one window and let's type in an equation that might fit that curve. So I'm going to type in area x equals 0 0.25 times the square root of 3 times x squared. Notice the syntax I'm using. And uh, when I hit return, I wonder what's going to happen. Notice that that curve uh, fits those plotted points. And to accentuate this a little bit better, let's go ahead and right click on that function and change its color so it's a little easier to see. How about we'll pick kind of a yellow color, make it sort of thick. Now as I drag points around, Notice that point P is going right over top of that yellow plot. So this leads me to believe that um, this function right here 
is the function that describes the area of this triangle with respect to the length of one of the sides. It's not proof, but it's compelling evidence. So here's some things I'd like you to try. How about add a slider in in graphics view one and graph the equation area x equals n times the square root of 3 times x squared. Use a slider to help you match the graph. You could also explore area versus side length graphs for other regular polygons. You could show the spreadsheet view and generate some area of x values or export this dynamic worksheet to an uh, HTML file. We'll be looking at each of these these uh, these ideas in a little bit more detail later on, but it doesn't hurt to try some things out now. So we'll talk to you again soon. Have some fun.